I have some bad news, guys. Um, I got fired from Twitter, and you might be wondering why. It's honestly all because of you watching this video. Um, they fired me because we have a YouTube channel. Skrr, just kidding, I did not get fired. I'm leaving Twitter for my dream company, but today is my last day at Twitter. So most of you probably know me from my day in the life at Twitter video, but if you haven't watched some of our other videos, in college I did internships at Microsoft, Adobe, Tesla, and Twitter, and I ended up signing with Twitter full time, and that's where I've been for the past two years. And at the time I'm filming this, it's actually in the middle of the coronavirus, so the Twitter office isn't even open for the next eight months or so. It's gonna be a little bit of a unique experience having a last day of work where I'm just totally remote. So I wanna walk through with you guys what a last day looks like at Twitter, why I'm leaving, and also where I'm headed. So looking at my calendar here, I have an exit sync, and then I have two one-on-ones saying bye to my manager and another member of my team. And then I also have a project handoff at the end of the day. A few moments later. All right, I just got done with my exit sync. It was pretty quick. So I have a little bit of a gap here before my next meeting. And before I really dive into why I'm leaving Twitter, I wanna explain that first off, I'm definitely not making this video to like bash on my time at Twitter. Quite the opposite. I actually had an incredible experience at Twitter. There's a reason that I picked working there over all the other companies that I'd done internships at. Seeing the news articles pop up the day after you launch a new product or a new feature you're working on, that's the kind of experience you really don't get a lot of places. And on top of that, the team was amazing. Super fun group of people to work with. Amazing perks and benefits. And on top of all that, the pay is incredible there. I'm gonna make another video diving into exactly how much I made at Twitter, so I won't cover that in this video. And before I jump into more, I actually have to hop on my last one-on-one -on -one with my manager, so I'll be back in a half hour. I've had this huge to-do list I've been going through, trying to make sure I don't forget anything. It is, what time is it, 4 p.m.? And at 5 p.m., they shut off access to my laptop. It's not my responsibility anymore. I filled out documentation for my teammates, got all my passwords off here. I deleted all my personal info. Oh wait, did I? I don't want no Twitter employees like snooping through my text messages. Whew, I deleted all my texts off here. That's it, I think I'm done. Turn in your badge, laptop, and any other assets. Katie, can you believe this is happening? Yeah. You can believe it. <laughs> oh, the end of an era. This thing could fall off of like a semi truck going 80 miles an hour and it would be fine in this box. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna box this up and we're gonna go drop it off at the post office. <laughs> Drop off the package, then go get a burrito to celebrate Josh's last day at Twitter, and I'm gonna be doing some interviewing of him, getting you guys all the good details of why he's leaving, what made him wanna leave, where is he going, where are we going, are we moving, are we staying in the Bay Area? To kick things off, Josh, why don't you just yep. tell us, why are you leaving Twitter? I think it really comes down to three things. Uh, first off, I feel like I'm pretty new in my career, and I really want to go to a company that I feel like is growing a lot. Like Twitter's doing really well as a company. I can, like there's definitely not room to complain, but the thing is Twitter kind of already had that hyper growth stage. They went through their IPO several years back and at the time there was a lot of excitement, new user growth. They were acquiring different companies and expanding into different things, getting new office buildings just to fit all their new employees they were hiring. And I definitely feel like I missed that point of Twitter as a company, which really made me just want it more and want to look for a kind of opportunity that would provide that and allow me the growth that comes with it. So reason number two, this is really about product passion. Like Twitter's a really cool product, but at the end of the day, I feel like I'm just not a Twitter guy deep down inside. And that's not really like a deal breaker. I mean, I've worked in plenty of jobs like Windows Server, for example, that I will probably like never use again in my entire life, the stuff I worked on. And that's okay. Like there's tons of software out there that's needed to run the world that like 
it doesn't ha the developer doesn't have to be like the most passionate person to, about that product for it to work out. But I just felt like with so many products out there that I am passionate about, that it was definitely something I was looking at is an opportunity to jump to a team and a product that I not only think is really cool, but that's something I use every day and something that after I'm done using it, it makes me feel good about my use of the product. And the final reason, number three, is I basically just got a better offer than what I was being paid at Twitter. And that really made the decision pretty easy for me, I would say. Especially when you consider that the other two things I already talked about were lining up perfect. Right now, we are driving up to the FedEx office. This is it. This is where my Twitter career ends. All right, here it goes, dropping it off. goes it's gone so drum roll can we do like a we'll do like a uh -huh. post edit drum roll drum roll <laughs> what everybody is wondering all the viewers is where are you going i'm going to robin hood i'm super pumped guys Robin Hood has been my dream company since I was a freshman in college. I was one of the first people on their wait list before they even launched the product. It's a product I use every single day. After I turn away from Robin Hood, I feel like I really did something meaningful. I invested in my future. And it's also a product that's just super fun to use. If any of you are Robin Hood users out there, you know what I'm talking about. Like Robin Hood is just miles ahead of the competition when it comes to iOS UI. And as an iPhone dev, Joining a company like that, that is iPhone first as a product, is just a really awesome opportunity. Yeah, let's pause this, I gotta order my burrito. Could I get a bacon breakfast burrito? I feel like we're doing like a drive-through YouTube challenge. <laughs> Should we do a Mr. Beast going through the drive-through a thousand times in a row? I'd be down to get a thousand of these breakfast burritos. <laughs> All right, and as far as growth goes, like Robinhood is definitely one of the fastest growing companies right now. They're pre-IPO, they're expanding into a ton of different markets, and they have less than 20 total iOS developers, so I'm gonna be one of the first hires. Their headquarters is in Palo Alto, pretty close to Stanford campus. Um, they are probably, what would you say, 40 minutes south of Twitter? 30 minutes, maybe? Yep. So they're out of the city, and we are actually moving Silicon to Silicon Valley. We're leaving the city. It's gonna be a big change. And listen, Katie's from Idaho. I'm from Utah. Silicon Valley is really new to us, this whole world. And if you wanna be a part of the journey with us, be sure to subscribe down below. There's a lot we still have to figure out and there's a lot we're gonna go through, but we can do it together. Oh, that was, that was kind of sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye guys. See ya.